A typical start air system consists of two air reservoirs. They are used for storage of air at a high pressure of 30 bar. Each reservoir has a capacity of 45 cubic meters. A receiver stop valve is positioned next to the air reservoir. This is a manual isolation valve of the system. To prevent pressure surge, this valve is opened slowly. Turning gear in the lock is an important interlock of any maneuvering system. It prevents attempted start and admission of air to the control lines while the gear is engaged. Air start lever in the engine room actuates pre-starting valve. It permits 30 bar to actuate the pilot valve. The pilot valve allows the passage of control air to operate automatic valve and load up distributor slide valves. The automatic valve opens and closes automatically to fill up start air manifold while starting. It conserves air during start. Often it includes a known return valve. In some cases, known return valve is fitted separately. The known return valve prevents passage of high pressures from start manifold to the receiver. Air distributor control valve regulates the admission of pilot air to operate cylinder air start valves in correct sequence. This enables the engine to start in the desired direction.